Hey guys, I'm back with another video. I just got home from shopping. Once again, still figuring out the angle. I know my face looks a little bit chubbier um, when I film like this, but I don't know how else to position the camera right now. So I figured I would do a Claire's and Sephora mini haul since I just got back from shopping. I had some money for Sephora and I needed some makeup. As you guys can see, I'm wearing Urban Decay again. It's kind of hard to see the uh, eyeshadow contrast in it, but I figured I would do sort of an unboxing, unbagging haul type video. So this is the Sephora bag that I got and I just want it there. I think it's absolutely adorable. It's reusable too. It's got that like vinyl-y sort of fabric. So I'm excited for that. Definitely plan on using this. Okay, so the first item I'm pulling out of here is my Smashbox um, eyelash primer for mascara. This is the product that I was talking about in another one of my um, videos about how wonderfully it primes your eyes. I did not believe that was true at all, but it is. It is absolutely true. So I definitely recommend picking this up. I don't know any of the prices, but this definitely works. You just put it on just like a mascara right before you do your actual black mascara. And it works wonders, absolute wonders. I got, okay, so this is the Makeup Forever little box that I got for my birthday. Because um, they give you a little, like, present or whatever. So I have yet to open this. I don't really know what's in here. I know there's, like, a lipstick, an eyeliner, a mascara. Let's see, I'm just struggling today. Alrighty. So here is the, hmm. This looks like hmm. Oh, this is the mascara. Okay. So I could tell from the bottom there the mascara. Let me put it this way. It is just professional pairs. I believe it's just Sephora brand, which is great. I'm excited for that. Why not? And uh, this is Lipstick? Yes. It's lipstick. So that's what the inside looks like. I'm not a huge lipstick person, but hey, you never know. I might try it. And I can always use a little travel size mascara, so that's kind of nice. Why not? Might as well. So. Oh, I'm excited about this one. So this is the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I got it in the original. As I mentioned, I'm wearing the Urban Decay palettes. They um, come with samples of all of these types of primers um this is the back of it just so you guys know the difference between original sin eden and anti-aging original which is the one i got they have slightly different caps and designs but this is what it looks like original is for all eye types it dries invisibly like i'm wearing and doesn't really deal with anything special. It's just plain. It's very matte for any kind of eyeshadow look you want. Sin is the shimmery version of the original. So if you don't like shimmer all the time, I wouldn't recommend getting shimmer. This is from one of the Sephora ladies herself. This is her advice. So if you want a matte look someday, you're still going to have the shimmer of Sin on underneath your eyeshadow. Eden is for oily eyes, so if you get a lot of creasing and you have to find yourself buffing things out all day, I personally don't, so I would never use Eden, but if you have oily skin or something like that, Eden would work well. And then the anti-aging, she said, just keeps your lid uh, nice and firm throughout the day so it doesn't, I guess, get wrinkly and stuff after years of putting makeup on. I haven't started using that, but like I said in my other video with the sample, I'm going to give that to my mom. And I probably won't end up, well, I guess I'll use Eden, but I mean, I won't really need the anti-oily aspect of that. So I figured I'd give you guys the, the lowdown on that so you understand, because I was like, I don't know what the difference is. So, alrighty, here we go. Moving on. Oh, this is a all day, stay all day waterproof liquid eyeliner by Stila in the brights. So this is... Kind of a bit of a glare there. 
I didn't realize it was waterproof, but I mean, I'm okay with it. And it is the color turquoise. I personally like um, makeup that isn't waterproof because I use wet wipes to take it off and I just find it easier and I'm not in the water much. But I really wanted to try different colors. She was saying you could um, line the top part of your eye or the bottom part of your eye. Um, but she recommends you don't line the top and the bottom. It's a bit too much. But depending on what you're wearing that day, color might look really nice to kind of bring out the color of your eyes and, you know, just switch it up a little bit. So I figured I'd try this. One of my friends uses it all the time and I love colored eyeshadow or colored eyeliner, I'm sorry, on her. So I was very excited. These are just two, um, what are they, samples that they gave me at checkout. Youth Preserve Eye Cream and I'm kind of excited for this. It's some kind of face cleanser. So that's that. Almost done with Sephora. I just got two new brushes, which was my original intent of going to Sephora. This is the Pro Smoky Liner Eyeliner Charbonneau 24 by Sephora. There we go. And it has sort of a dome-like tip, so it's easier to um, use darker colors in to like blend them out more and stuff. And this one is the Precision Powder Shadow 61. I think it has it written in French as well. And clearly I haven't opened these, but this is more of a rounded type tip I guess you would say so I got that one too she recommended these just to try um, they're easier to blend for like eyeliner and then up around like where this darker color is on me so I figured that'd be nice so that's everything I got from Sephora now moving on to Claire's super quick I know this video is getting long I love Claire's and I figured since Christmas is over I would be able to get some Christmas accessories for next year. I had a pair of bows that broke, so I got these. If I can undo them, my goodness. I'm just struggling today. I just, I'm struggling. Mm, struggling. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm so crazy right now. Okay, put the back on. Okay. So I've got these silver bows, which I think will be adorable for next year. Oh, this was just random. I just saw this and liked it. It was pretty cheap. It's an ear cuff. Um, and this goes, this would go in my second hole. And then this part of the ear cuff would go around here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's peace signs. I'm obsessed with peace signs, so I loved that. This was all some type of clearance sale. I got these glittery reindeer. I thought they were adorable. And last but not least, these Santa hats with the uh, the gem as the actual stud. I thought they were adorable. So that is everything I got today from the mall. Obviously, shopping is going to be decreasing a lot, and I won't have nearly as many haul videos. But because it's the holidays and there's sales, and I wanted to get all this makeup stuff, I figured I would just videos for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this. I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.